Cosmo. Cosmo. You want to come inside, baby? You want to make a fabric liner for a semicircular basket? Meow. Okay, let's do it. What is up, my sewing friends? Welcome to Sew Your Own. I'm Cassidy, and today I'm going to teach you how to make liners for semicircular baskets. Wire baskets, wicker baskets, fabric baskets. It could even be an Easter egg basket. As long as it's semicircular and it's a basket, this video will teach you how to line it. For this project, you will need a basket, fabric, scissors, tailor's chalk or fabric marking tool, a tape measure, sewing pins, pattern paper, and a marker, and some ribbon or twine. Optional supplies would be bias tape. I used extra wide double fold, elastic. You could do a fabric label. Really, any trims, embellishment that you want to add on your basket, get creative here and add whatever you like. You are also going to need your basic sewing supplies, an iron sewing machine, needles, matching thread, all that good stuff. First things first, let's make the pattern. I am copying the liner that actually came with the basket that I had purchased. I simply cut it apart at the seams, pinned each panel on top of my fabric, and cut the panels out with scissors. I didn't use seam allowance because I wanted my liner to fit a bit more snugly than the one it came with. If your basket did not come with a liner, don't fret. You can easily make your own pattern. This illustration shows the three panels we are breaking this liner up into. The first section outlined in magenta will be referred to as section one or the front panel. It will be the largest of our pattern pieces. The section outlined in orange is section two or the back panel. The section outlined in blue is going to be section three or the bottom panel. This is the only curved panel in our liner. Let us start with panel number three, the bottom panel. It's actually going to be the easiest one. Sit your basket down on your fabric or a piece of pattern paper and just go ahead and trace around the inside edge of the basket. You want to trace it here because we want to mimic the curve of the basket as closely as possible to get a nice looking liner. Also, just a side note, I would have added some usable interfacing to this panel just to give my liner a bit more structure so it would look neater when it's actually hanging in the basket. Didn't do it this time. Wish I would have. I will be doing it in the future, though. Let's talk panel one and panel two. We're going to do some geometry here, folks. It's going to be fun. So panels one and two are trapezoids. They're actually isosceles trapeziums, meaning that two sides are parallel and the base angles are equal, but the sides are not parallel. So the only difference is that panel one is quite a bit longer than panel two because it has to wrap around that curved edge. You can see that on the image right there. It's number one in blue. I will not be going over the specifics of how to draw panel two because we're going to go in depth with panel one, but the same concepts apply. To draw panel one, you're going to draw one straight line measuring 36 inches in my case. Use the measurements of your basket, of course. So this is going to represent the top edge of the panel. So find the center of that 36 inch line. It'll be at 18 inches and draw a straight line down 24 inches. Then using the bottom of the 24 inch line as the center, draw a 26 inch line. So you wanna have 13 inches on one side, 13 inches on the other. Then you'll wanna connect the endpoints using a ruler and the shape should look like this. All right, so here is my front panel, right? These edges right here, this edge is going to be connected to the back panel, which is much smaller than the front one, as we have a semicircular basket we're working with. So what we're going to do first, we're going to put right sides together, RST, 
is good for me. And we are going to sew this seam. And once that's sewn, we're gonna bring it over and sew this seam. So you can kind of tell that the front panel is gonna curve. Then after that, we'll talk about adding the bottom piece. Apologize that this is not totally in the frame, but we have joined the back piece of the fabric liner to the front. And I just wanted to show you guys how we're gonna sew the second side. Just like the first, there's just quite a bit more material on the front part as to where the back panel is much smaller. So stitch that up and we'll be back. All right, so here is my bottom panel. The curved part is going to attach to obviously the front or the longer panel while the straight part is going to align with the back. So with right sides together, like which side do I want to be the right side? You're just going to fit that in there like this and pin it. You will have to clip the corners as you go. And I also find it very helpful to just fold this in half, this bottom piece, and just make a little snip where the center front is so that I know where to align it. So grabbing that top part of the liner and then I'm going to put the two seams that we just sewed together in order to identify the center front of the larger panel and I'm gonna snip there as well. And then I'm gonna use the same technique to make a snip in the center back as well as on my smaller piece. So this is like my version of quartering, sort of halfing, I don't know. This is just what I do to line this up. Okay, so we have our little makeshift notches. So using the marks that we just made, pin them together. This would be one that I would want to pin. Here is what it looks like all pinned together. Be careful around the corners where we sewed our original seams. Just make sure to not bunch up any of the fabric under there. And uh, you can also snip off that little corner if you feel it's necessary. We're gonna sew the straight side first. Okay, this is the point where you need to be careful. It's that, it's the, uh, where the first seam that we saw, we sewed uh, intersects. And you're kind of fitting like a square peg in a round hole really for kind of lack of a better term. Um, but, just be careful and go slow.
And there we go. We have attached the bottom panel. Go us! I am now just finishing off the top raw edge with a length of double fold bias tape, which I will be using as a casing to run a ribbon through so that I can tie the liner around the basket tightly. After completing the bias tape, I'm just using a bodkin to feed the ribbon through. After feeding the ribbon through the casing, I tied it in a nice little bow and then put the liner in my basket. I also gave it a press. So here is the finished product. I'm currently using it in my bathroom. I'm so happy with the way that this turned out and I cannot wait to line more baskets using this technique. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and if you did, please go ahead and leave it a like and subscribe. God bless all of you and happy sewing.